Having a beautiful lawn is a dream of many homeowners. But what's the point of having a nice lawn if you can't enjoy it? If you have bugs, I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Rob, the Average Lawn Guy. Thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I treat the bugs. You see, having a lawn is one thing, but if you're out having a barbecue and you're being swarmed by flies and different types of bugs, it is really annoying and you can't really enjoy your backyard. These products you see right here is really all you need to really treat for bugs. This is by no means the only way to treat for bugs, but this is how I do it and I wanted to share with you. First off, understand, bug control requires different types of treatment and it's a battle on different fronts and you have to treat it accordingly. With these types of products, I'm going to start with the granular type product. The granular form of bug control is what you need to put on your lawn. It's going to prevent a lot of different problems from happening and it's going to prevent different bugs from making your lawn home. By applying the granular treatment, you're going to reduce or eliminate most of the types of crawling bugs that's on your lawn. Typically the main ones I'm concerned about is ants, possibly cockroaches, and also by applying the granular bug control every two to three months, you're gonna reduce the chances of having grubs on your lawn. You know grub damage can be a problem if it's left unchecked, but by doing the granular treatment, you're gonna reduce the issue of grubs. Now with granular treatments, you wanna go at the heavy rate. You wanna make sure you're able to get the granules up on your foundation and on your lawn. This will give you the total protection you need from crawling bugs. It's really nothing to it, just follow the bag rate. Remember, go at the highest rate. The highest rate is what you need to prevent any issues with most bugs. Next up is the hose end sprayers. There's different types of hose end sprayers. I'm never gonna push any type of particular product on you. You choose what you want and what works best for you. But I find the products of Seven and Bug Be Gone are good at treating mosquitoes and flies and also many different flying insects. For me, the most important issue I have is flies in the backyard, especially when you're barbecuing. There's nothing worse when you have a bunch of food laying out and you have flies just swarming all over your food. This is especially true for where I am in Georgia. So the Seven product and the Bug Be Gone will reduce the problems you may have with flies. It's also good for mosquitoes and different types of flying insects. Now if you choose to use the triazicide and the cutter backyard control, those are good products, but they're not gonna work as well on flies. They will definitely get rid of mosquitoes. So consider using these products if you have a mosquito issue. But if you have a mosquito and fly issue, I would go with the seven or the bug be gone. Now with the liquid hose end products, what I normally do is spray the backwoods in my backyard. I have a wood line fence and I typically spray the hose end sprayers in the woods. I also spray the fence. I spray the entire fence up and down. Because the fence is porous, I typically apply this hose end product on my fence. And this will reduce the number of flies landing on your fence. It will also reduce the chances of hornets making a home on your fence. You've seen the issue with hornets. When left unchecked, they typically like to hide or set up home right under the fence post or anywhere along your fence. So by spraying the fence itself, you're gonna reduce an open invitation to any bugs. So besides the woods and the fence, I also spray on the foundation going about five to eight feet up. And I also spray the patio. By spraying the patio, you're gonna reduce the chances of any crawling insects entering your home. Just remember the best time to spray is usually early mornings or late in the evening. You don't wanna spray in the middle of the day. This is when typically the mosquitoes are out and you can catch them more easily. It'll also protect the bee population. Now finally, what I do is use the fly traps. I would set up the fly traps after I spray the entire backwoods, but the fly traps are set up away from the home as far away as possible only because it produces a smell which is desirable to flies but is very awful to humans so set it up away from your home you can set it up on the end tip of a fence or you can set it up on a tree branch i typically use a tree branch that's away from the home so in this video right here this fly trap has been up for two days and you can see it's already done its job. It's gotten a few flies. What I normally do is swap these out about every two weeks to every month, depending on how much liquid is there. 
Once it starts to run dry, this is when I change it out. If I know I'm going to have a gathering ahead of time, what I do is use the cutter spray. A few hours before, I would take the cutter spray and spray the entire patio. This will give you a good protection for about 8 to 12 hours. So you spray this all over before a gathering. So this way you can enjoy your barbecue and your patio when you have guests over. So bug control is very easy to do. It's just a matter of choosing the products where it's most easiest for you to use and apply it. Remember, read the labels and prevent any pets or kids from entering the area until the product is dried. Now, I think you'll find this bug video useful right here. It gets more in detail on how to control bugs. And you can also watch this video right here on lawn bug control. So I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more videos. With that, thanks for watching. Take care.